Welcome to today's video. In this video, I'm going to answer a question that came in an exam. This question was coming from the topic of social and commercial arithmetic. To be specific, I'm going to look at the question that came from appreciation, the topic, the subtopic, which is appreciation. Okay, so stay tuned, watch this video up to the end as I'm going to solve these questions. In fact, this question was uh, came with five sub questions. So please stay tuned as I'm going to answer all those five questions. Okay, so first of all, we need to, uh, to define what appreciation is. Okay, so appreciation, just like we know a lot of us, is just like gaining value you see okay just an asset has gained value you can say an asset as appreciated so appreciate is an increase in an asset value so when an asset has gained value that means it has appreciated okay now let's go to the scenario which was in the question. So the scenario was Mr. Kasoma invested 10,000 in Atlas Mara Bank. Mr. Kasoma's money will be earning an interest of 7% per annum. So Mr. Kasoma has invested 10,000 kwacha in the Atlas Mara Bank and then the money has invested will be earning 7% per annum. So every one year his money will have an interest of 7%. Okay, so let's look at these three questions first. Okay, let's go to question A, which is how much was the how much was his interest at the end of the first year? How much was his interest at the end of the first year? So the first year invested 10,000, how much was his interest, the actual money he gained, okay, as profit, as interest, okay. So to find interest, we use this um, formula. So if you are not conversant, there is a video where I, was, I talked about simple interest and compound interest. This, that's where I talked much about this formula and what it means. So if you are not conversant, check on the videos. You will see the video where I talked about compound interest and simple interest. Okay, so this is the formula where I is interest, then which is equal to principal P is principal R is interest rate, then T is time. Okay, over hundred percent. Okay, all right. So what we're going to do now? We're going to replace these ma these the principal. We're going to put at the actual amount which was invested. Principal is the actual amount which was invested. So what was the amount invested in the statement there? We can see that he invested 10,000. That was his principal. And what was the interest rate of the bank? We are saying 7%. So multiplied by 7%. Then for how long? Here in the question we are told to find the interest for the first year. So it's one year multiplied by one. Then the whole lot of that over 100 <clears throat> percent so what we're going to do is oh excuse me what we're going to do is now we're going to find we're going to to find what we're going to do now is we're going to cancel out what is found on top and down we are going to cancel them out if anything that is found on top and down will be cancelled out so we can say zero there on top and zero down here zero on top there and zero down here okay so now down we don't have zeros okay now when you check on top we have also a sign of percentage which we can cancel on top and down also we cancel so i can say one into 100 it will go 100 times then multiplied by seven multiplied by one Okay, so that is what we are meaning with now there. Then we're going to multiply. So 100 multiplied by 7 will give us 700. 700 multiplied by 1 will give us 700. So that is the answer. So 700 was the interest uh, Mr. Kasoma gained by investing 10,000 in Ultra Smaller Bank.
so that was the interest he made in one year in the first year he made an interest of 700 kwach okay let's go to question number b what was the principle at the beginning of the second year now we assume that mr kasoma did not withdraw any money from the bank the interest which was earned and the principal which was invested he never touched anything so uh, the interest which he gained and the principal he had saved they were put in the same account so as we, he began the second year of investment so in his bank there was the, the principal and the interest so together they made the principal of the second year of his investment so what we're going to do is to find that we're going to write this formula which is principal of the second year is equal to principal invested plus interest earned. so that is the principal we want to find for the second year so we're going to say what was the money invested was ten thousand and what was the interest he earned that was 700 then when you add 10,000 plus 700, it's going to give us 10,700. So this was the principle for the beginning of the second year. Okay, now let's go to question number C. If you have got questions, please you can ask them in the comment section. We'll be glad to answer those questions. Okay, so <clears throat> excuse me. question number three was, how much interest was added by the end of the second year? <clears throat> so how much interest was added by the end of the second year? Now, at this level, we are calculating the interest of the second year. Okay, so just like we used in question A, we use that formula. That is the same formula we're going to use, which is interest is equal to principal multiplied by interest rate multiplied by time over 100 percent okay now here be careful because what we're going to use we are going to use the principle of the second year which we got which is 10,700 we're not going to use the 10,000 no we're going to use the 10,700 because this was the money in the bank at the beginning of the second year this was the money in the in his bank account at the beginning of the second year so going to use 10,000 okay which we are going to multiply by the interest rate which is 7 percent then multiply now here again you need to be careful not going to multiply by two because it's the second year no we are going to multiply by one because we are just looking at the second year alone so it's just one year we are looking at so going to multiply it by one okay once we have done that, then we are going to 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 divide the all of that by one hundred percent. So as usual, as we did in the first question, which is A, we are going to cancel out what is found on top and down. So as you can see, there are two zeros there on down there. There are two zeros down, and also there are three zeros on top. So we are going to cancel uh, the last zeros. Remember the zero in between seven and one cannot be cancelled out okay only the zeros at the end so you have got two zeros at the end on top and two zeros at the end down so we are going to cancel those two on top and these two down okay once we've done that we can also see that the percentage sign is on top and down so we can cancel that one as well as well as this one okay now we have cancelled everything now on top we have remained with 100 7 kwacha multiplied by 7 multiplied by 1 and down we have just made with 1. So we can divide 107 divided by 1 which will be 107 kwacha. Okay, 107 kwacha that will be the, the equation to get when we divide 107 kwacha divided by 1 we we'll get 107 kwacha as a quotient then that quotient we are going to multiply it by seven as well as by one okay then we're going to start multiplying which we're going to say 107 multiplied by seven will give us 749 kwacha multiplied by one which will also give us one one i'm having trouble connecting to the internet 
when we multiply 107 kwacha multiply by 7 will give us 749 kwacha which we multiply by 1 will give us 749 kwacha again so the interest for the second year was 749 kwacha that was the interest okay so basically that is how you can solve it and these were the answers examiners were expecting now this is not the end of the questions there are two questions there are two more questions which are i didn't write because of space now let's go to questions d and e okay so these are the last two questions so question d is Calculate the amount in Mr. Kasoma's account at the end of five years. So calculate the amount in Mr. Kasoma's account at the end of five years. So to solve this question, I'm going to draw a table where I'm going to calculate the amount which is in Mr. Kasoma's account. So this is the table I'm going to use. Okay, so in this table, the first column is for period. So the period the man has been in the bank. Then the second one is for the second one is for the interest. Then the third one is for the principal plus the interest. Then the last one is for the new is for the new principal and yes for the new principal. So that's what I'm going to do. So. Let's start. So what is going to happen here? I'm going, under periods, I'm going to write the year, the number of the year we are calculating for, and then under interest, I'm going to calculate the interest, the actual interest. Then under principal and interest, I'm going to add the principal plus the interest you have found. Then you are going to come up with the new interest, which I'm the new principal, which I'm going to write under new principal. So number one, the first year. Uh, let's calculate the interest. So the interest we uh, told you that the money Mr. Kasuma invested was ten thousand, and it was calculated. The interest was calculated on at seven percent. So it's for one year, and the interest was at two hundred percent. Okay, at seven percent. So the the interest was seven hundred. This is what we did in question one. In question A, the first question of this. Uh, question. So question A, we found that the interest was 700. Okay, basically what we are doing is just the same thing we are doing, but we are going to do it repeatedly, uh, depending on the different um, principle. So it was 700. So the principle which Mr. Takasoma had put was 10,000. So we are going to add 10,000 plus 700, which will give us 10,700. This is the new principle for the second year. This is the new principle for the second year. So <clears throat> basically what we're doing is just what we did in question A and C. Okay. So for the second year, we are going to use the new the new principle, which is 10,700, multiplied by the interest rate, which is 7%, multiplied by the period, which is uh, one year which we cannot even put there okay okay which we can also put then we say <clears throat> is equal to so the interest for the second year is 749 this is what the answer we got even in question c so we're going to add uh, the principal we used which is 10700 plus 749 which will give us 11000 uh, 449 okay as the new principle so now we are going to get this new principle okay let me just okay then through there so we're going to get the new principle which is 11,449 this one we are going to use this principle which we are going to find the interest for the third year so 11 1449 multiplied by 7 multiplied by 1 divided by 100 
is equal to 800 one quarter so that is the interest for the third year so the investment of mr kasoma in the third year made an interest of 800 one quarter okay so we're going to add the principal used that is 11,449 plus 801 quarter which will give us 12,250 Okay, now you should also note that I'm rounding off these answers to the nearest or number. Okay, so <clears throat> I want I do not want to come up with a and with an answer which has got a decimal which has got decimal places. Okay, the next now we're going to do is number four. So I'm going to use twelve thousand two hundred fifty as the principal for the fourth year then multiply it by seven and then by one and then the whole lot of that divided by 100 which will give us 858 quarter as an interest then i'm going to add 12 1250 plus 858 okay that one 12 the one which is that's the one i'm going to add here together with 858 then um, the answer is 13,108 108 quacha so that was the actual principle now for the which was going to be used in the fifth year okay then in the fifth year this is the principle which was multiplied by the interest rate multiplied by 100 divided by multiplied by 1 divided by 100 okay then the interest was 918 that was the interest at the end of 5 years then at the end of the fifth year then we add 13108 plus 918 Will give us 14,026 kwacha. 14,026 kwacha. So let's go now back to the question because now we have calculated the 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 principal for uh, which was in an account of Mr. Kasoma at the end of five years. So the principal, which was uh, the money, the amount which was in Mr. Kasoma's account at the end of five years was 14,000. 26 14,026 so if he, that was the principal then that was the amount which was on account in the, in the account so we can write it there on the question we have put the, the answer which is calculate the which the question which is calculate the amount in Mr. Kasoma's account at the end of five years so the amount was 14,026 kwacha that was the amount which was in Mr. Kasoma at the end, Mr. Kasoma's account at the end of five years. Okay. Now let's go to question E, which is by how much did his investment appreciate in five years? By how much did his investment appreciate in five years? So what we're going to do is we're going to get uh, the principal or the amount in the bank at the end of five years, which we found was 14,026. Okay. Okay. So that is the amount. Then we are going to subtract the actual amount Mr. Kasuma had invested in the bank, which is 10,000. Then we find the difference. So saying 14,026 minus 10,000, the difference is. 14,426. 4, so subtracting 10,000 from 14,026 will give us 4,026. So this is the amount of interest Mr. Kasoma accumulated at the end of five years. So uh, the, the investment of Mr. Kasoma appreciated by 4,026 watch okay thank you so much for watching if you found this video help remember to like and share with your friends it has been easy learning z mathematics the future is bright 
God bless you. See you in the next video.